Comments. Hello. From New York already. Already, already. Hello, hello. <laughs> hi, hi everybody. It oh, is here from the UK. And Elisa from Australia. That works out well, doesn't it? A from A. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And this is our monthly, well, kind of monthly, it's our second, um, yes. Stamp Live with Elisa and Pip for some crafting fun. So, um, yeah, we hope that everyone can jump on and join us. I have been telling everybody about it, so you never know. Mm -hmm. we'll just, uh, it might take people a few minutes to get used to us being here on a Wednesday. Definitely. And for people to get notified that we are actually here. So good yeah. morning. Uh, good now, and see, and now I'm usually in my good morning time slot and I'm saying good morning. So Leanne <laughs> is here. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Leanne. So we, we are actually in five places at the yeah. moment. We are streaming right. to five places. So uh, we are streaming to Pip's YouTube, Pip's yeah. Facebook page, Pip's Facebook group. Yep. my facebook page and my youtube page so <laughs> welcome to everyone who is joining us tonight now i can't see comments unless i, I switch unless i switch my screens so i apologize no. if uh, i'm not saying hello to everyone as that's you come okay. in we can, uh, we can do a bit of this hi kim we can do a bit of that hello. that's fine hello that's cool. and perfectly Perfect. creative with joanna says hello she's watching at work we won't tell anyone <laughs> We won't say a word. Hello from New Zealand. Hello awesome. from New Zealand. Yay. That's and we got happy. Jane from work as well. Yay. Hi, Jane. <laughs> I love it when they when they do that. Oh, and we've got, hang on, Deb, Deb here. Hello. Deb nice well. to see Hello, you. Deb. We're going to do a few of these. Um, so, yeah, it's lovely to see everybody. Oh, Anita's just joined as well. Hi. Um, Hi lovely. Oh, look at this. We've got Anita. Hi. We've got We've got Julie from Sydney. Oh, they're all coming on. They're all coming Fantastic. on. Fantastic. Great. Fantastic. That awesome. 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 Okay. What are we playing with tonight? Mm. Or you can see. <laughs> nice like, oh, we've got the extra cameras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's um let's make our hands a little bit larger. And then hopefully people can see a little bit better there. Oh, I've, we've mixed ourselves around. Hang on, we need to switch there our we hands. Go. We've got we go. to get the right hands with the right person, otherwise. People will be saying, I'm going to be colouring with yes. yellow and I'm colouring with blue. And you'll be like, wait a minute. No, she's not. That's not right. <laughs> That's so, we've, uh, so we've got um, we've got somebody coming in from uh, Lamborghini City, Italy. Oh, hello. Lovely. I don't know your name um, because you're coming wow. in from a Facebook group. So you need to do the StreamYard thing. So you need to go streamyard.com forward slash ah. Facebook and that will let me see your name. Uh, so if you can do that, um, I will I will put the um, the link up here. So if anyone's coming in from my Facebook group, just do streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. There's actually a link in the description in the group. So if you do that, it will then say yes, then we can see your name. So that's, that's always good. Uh, okay. Uh, Jean, Janine, she says, I've been watching you for a long time, Alyssa. Oh, oh isn't that lovely? Welcome, oh, welcome. Kind. That's nice. Well, Margaret, says she's at, Sorry? I was say, Margaret says she's at Slimming World. She's going to watch later. So that's good. Oh, See you lovely. later. <laughs> I've got I, just, I need an extra piece of white cardstock. So oh, go get that. I'm going to say hello seconds. to everybody. You can, you can chat about I'm, this. Wish. Yeah. So Rose is coming in from Victoria in Australia. Audrey's here. Kim said she found some cute chocolate hens. <gasps> Kim's found some cute chocolate hens. They work perfectly. So, cool. So I'm going to ask in the, because I know in the US they don't, we, we have a, a term of endearment, I was going to say, for a chicken. We call them chooks. Do you you call them chooks over there as well? Do you know that yeah, the US do not know yeah. what we're talking about when we say yeah. chooks? They have oh. no idea. So okay. oh, we, we love to say, we, we go, guess what a chook is? And there's some, been some really, really funny uh, things come up about what they think chooks are. And it's like, no, it's a hot chook. And, and a chook can be a live chook or it can be a hot chook like as in a barbecue chook. As in a barbecue, yeah. Exactly. Don't say that when the chickens are listening. <laughs> Shh, 
<laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've had so many chicken sets, haven't we, over the we have. over the years, and I have them all. I think still, I love them. I love all the chickens, to be honest. Yeah. So if you've got if you've got your hey hey birthday chicken, and yes. there, was, there was another one, hey chicken birthday chick or something. Birthday well, chick, now yes. you've got now you've got a rooster to add to your coop. exactly. Exactly. Plus, I like them because generally this looks a little bit like my hair. So these <laughs> ones here with the little um, thingies, I make them pinks and purples. And if I just, I don't know if I can do this, but just on my, in fact, I'll just pull them in. Uh, these are the colours I'm going to be working with tonight or to, Ooh, this you're morning. Impressed. You've got the blend oh. out too. Nice. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> so maybe not your normal colours, but that you can nice. get purple chickens. But pink and purple feathered, well, bluey, bluey, purpley feathered chickens. You can get them. So, of course, obviously, I like them for my hair. Although at the moment, I'm a bit red and pink, which is, you know, it, it is red and pink, but it's not um, it's not normally it's normally pink, pink. But <laughs> so, yeah, oh, that's, yeah. That, they're the colours I'm going with tonight. Perfect. OK, well, I am also using my blends and I am using. Ooh. So probably I'm actually going to try and take a little bit of inspiration from the catalogue because no. it was one of those cards in the catalogue that actually made me want to buy this set. <laughs> so no. I am going to, and when I come across a card like that, I try to either case it completely uh, or I use it as inspiration because that's the one that made me buy it. So nice. there's usually nice. one or two stamps in uh, like card designs in the catalogue that go, oh, Got to make that card. Got to make that card. So that's what I'm doing. Interesting. Well, okay. I'm also casing the catalogue, but from a different from a different stamp set. Ooh. But I think it will work really well with chickens. So oh, there we go. Fantastic. Go. Awesome. Okay. Hi, Lola. We've got loads of people joining us. So oh, um, we've got someone from around the corner. Judy says she's just bought Hey Chuck bundle but hasn't used it yet. So that's cool. Oh, perfect. Um, we've got Kay Duns. Uh, we've got Michelle uh Juritza, we've got nola who's one of my ladies we've got marlene um from croydon melbourne that threw me because croydon's just up the road from me here in the uk as oh well. yes <laughs> when, when we were when we stayed in london on our first night we stayed in one of those little premier inn hubs just one of those yeah. little new hub things and on the wall it had um all the suburbs that were around near us and we were picking out how many of those suburbs were actually in Adelaide as well. Yeah. So, so many yeah, of loads. them. With so the same many. Obviously, I wonder where we came from. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I have cool. pre-stamped already and because I probably take a little bit to colour in. So I've stamped a couple. I didn't know how many of these I was going to use, but I had a little play beforehand. So I stamped um, mine already um, because... Okay. I know I usually take a little bit longer in the card making department, so <laughs> I thought I would get a head start. So okay, well, I am, I'm going to colour in my the rest of my um, fencing. What they called fencing, fencing. and the colours that I'm going to use for these is soft suede. I know they retired that one, okay. and I'm going to use the light crumb cake. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and Pip is okay. going to let you know what she is doing. Excellent. So I have here um, very burst. I'm so happy this is back. Love it. Um, a piece of basic white and a gorgeous grape card base. Now we don't have gorgeous grape blends, but we do have Highland Heather, Fresh Freesia and the new Bubble Bath. And we don't have, um, or I don't have the berry burst yet, but I've got Melon Mambo. And I've also brought in um, uh, the Orchid Oasis, because I feel that's got a lovely purple tinge to it, which kind of goes nicely with the um, gorgeous grape. So I'm going to be doing purple chickens. But the, the card that I wanted to case had this um, great idea. It's what I call a peek through card. So um, my peek through cards I, I make with the stitched stylish shapes dies. Um, and I'm just going to take out three of the um, circle dies here. Uh, just making sure which one it is, not that one, these three. So it's the it's the second smallest, third smallest, fourth smallest, if you know what I mean, like that from there. And what I'm doing is I'm just arranging them on my card, like so. 
So I have these sort of circles in here and I'm just going to cut those out. So I'm going to position them, stick them with a bit of washing, with a bit of washing. And I'm going to just run them through my um, stamping cut and emboss behind me. So I'm just over here. Okay, and I, I will just show you this little step by step as we go. So I've just laid down my dark. Uh, and what I like about doing these fence posts is that you can actually be a little bit messy with your colouring if you wish. So I'm starting with my dark and just adding on my medium. So I am using the suede for that bar. And then I'll just fill in the rest with the light crumb cake. And then mm. I like to go over my image twice because I sort of feel that the first one sort of is like laying the colour down a little bit and the second one helps everything sink in and blend together. So you can see on the top one that I've done, I've coloured that one in twice and I've coloured this one in once. So I'm going to go back over and colour this one in again. You'll have to excuse my fingernails. They are peeling really, really badly and I feel bad when I'm pointing to things because they are a shock at the moment. I don't know what <laughs> has gotten into them, but they are peeling really badly. So if anyone's got advice, advice about peeling fingernails, let me Almond know. oil. Almond oil is all Almond I know. Oil? Yeah, almond oil. Okay, so now I've done my holes. So you can see that I've got my, um, oh, well, <laughs> sorry, I've got a couple of comments coming in here. So uh, Elaine says, hi, Pippa and Elisa, guess what I'm working on while watching you? That'll be a lot of blending and a lot of stamping. So that's cool. <laughs> and Marlene, look at this. This is brilliant. OMG, I'm not tech savvy, but I just got you ladies on YouTube on my oh, big belly. No. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell us that, Marlene. I know it's awesome yeah, for you. I've got my Nana Mascuri. I know. Oh, it's yeah. like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Well, I'm very glad for you, Marlene. I'm happy. Okay. So not there's a bit of a bonus. You get three lovely stitched circles in Berry Burst you can use for something else. Um, but you get this one with the holes in. And then what I've done is I've taken – oh, I haven't done it already. I'm going to do it. I'm taking the, uh, the new exposed – brick 3d embossing folder but you could use the brick and mortar one if you wanted as well um or you could use the timber one if you wanted to make a wooden hen house that's how i see it um you can kind of make whatever hen house you like really i'm going for a brick one just for a bit of difference uh then we'll run that one through and then then we'll be done with our front bits and then that'll be easier okay so i am going to start coloring in the big fat chook um i think that are they all roosters here or i think they must be being being that the name is hey chuck i'm assuming that they're all roosters so i'm going to color him in and so remember that when you're working with your blends you want to stamp with memento ink which is a water base so opposites attract alcohol markers water-based outline and i am going to start off in cajun craze and work into um, some Daffodil Delight. I've got some real red and a bit of blue as well, which is what they've used in the catalogue. A bit yeah. of blue there. Okay, oh, so that's, nice. that's the colours that I am working with. Fab. Okay. Oh, my my so. ends have faded. Hey, look at that. My ends have... Hmm. Yeah. Not that that affects anything. <laughs> yeah. So now you can see we've got the, um, actually I think it should have been that way around, but it doesn't matter. I'm doing it this way around. So I've got my exposed bricks. I've actually got like the imprint of the bricks, but it looks okay. So we can see that hopefully. And now I'm going to lay that on top of my white base. Okay, my white card. Now I can see already that the embossing folder has shrunk the card slightly it does that sometimes so if you find that happens you just need to trim your base underneath because you don't want this to show so i'm going to use this i wish this was available to everybody i'm really sorry that it's not but i'm just going to take a little bit off my white not enough to make it like another layer down just a smidge and then that can slip underneath here okay because we don't want any white edges showing uh, from the back but you can see it's really i've cut it really close so it's not going to be a massive it's not like it's a layer layer 
Okay, so now once you've got that positioned, what I do is I get a little pencil and I'm just going to mark the outside edges and the top and the bottom of each of these circles, like so. Now um, this is just to give me a guide for when I'm stamping. Okay, so now I can see the images, where the images need to sit in there. And then you need to get some, you can use the masking paper for this, but it's a bit of a waste in the sense that you, um, you know, you need to, uh, you're only doing it so that it's not stamping on anything else. So I use post-it notes uh, for this little bit because you need to hide the other circles while you're stamping one of them, if you see what I mean. Otherwise you'll get chickens all over chickens. Oh, well, look, Jodie's also got us on our big screen. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. So, I put my heater on. I needed to turn my heater off and starting to get red, red cheeks. <laughs> you're getting hot over there. We are hot. hot. It's going to be cold. <laughs> generally hot here, too. Uh, although it's a bit cooler today, thankfully. Okay, so now we have our big chook. And I'm thinking I want my big chook to be shown in that circle there. OK, so that's fine. I can just stamp that one straight down. And again, I'm using Memento. So it will. It will. Um, work with my blends. So I've got my three circles. And for uh, if anyone who's partially sighted is watching, just so that I can show you with what I've done, I've cut out circles from the right hand side the left centre and the top centre. So we have three different holes where we're going to be putting our chucks into. So I'm putting the big chuck into the um, bottom left hand side circle. Having a few issues with my colouring. Oh no. Oh no. I might have to just do... Get rid of the, that and just do that. I reckon. <laughs> what have you done? What's happened? Oh, I just I'm having difficulties blending my Cajun craze into my yellow. Doesn't want to. I think I need to get rid of the light Cajun craze and go straight yeah. into the, yeah, the light um, daffodil delight and just go straight into the dark one. There we go. How's that? Oh yeah, that looks nice. A bit better. So get rid of the light one. Don't use the light if you are copying and uh, yeah. straight into your. I think there's too much, and I and I can't see properly. I need a I need a um, magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. I yeah. need something to see exactly what they've done. So, but what I reckon I might do is just do a few little dots. And dots. You taught me that dots are always good. Yeah, so I, I don't know whether you can see because I can't I can't seem to blend that line there. So I don't know whether you can see properly, but I've just done a few little dots around that edge there. Yeah. And just to sort of fill in that area. Yeah, that's good. Because it's not perfect you, anyway, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's perfect. No. Yeah. That's the thing. And then you can sort of, you know, have a few of them up, which means I'm probably going to have a little bit of trouble here blending his rear end as well. <laughs> okay, well, while right, you blend this actually, rear end, I think it's going to go okay. Fine. <laughs> so now we've stamped that one, I'm going to post it note off the top one here because I don't want any of this chicken getting over that top one. And um, this chicken is looking down. I love this one, it's kind of like a little cheeky, mm, what are you doing? Sneaky looking in underneath something. So I thought we'd have this one coming in through this window here, this circle here, like so. And then we've got this lovely one. I can't, I don't know if, the, I mean, I think it is a rooster, but I think it's a very attractive rooster if it is. This one's coming in uh, this way. And he, she, it is going to come through and poke out this little one here but for that I need to hide both of the other images just in case and make sure that the head just pops up through that hole there like so okay so it's a little bit of masking it's a little bit of stamping and then you take all this off and it looks a bit of a mess but when you put the circles back over the top of it 
you can see them all peeking through. Cute. Looking through the holes. So um, now I'm just going to start colouring and rubbing out. I'll, once the ink has dried, I'll rub out those um, pencil marks that I made just in case they show through, in case I didn't quite get my lining up right. So I can get rid of a few of them. Like this one. And then I'm just going to go for mad purple pink colours. So, you know, bear with while I make it up as I go along, really. <laughs> we'll see what they look like at the end. Um, well, so an, <laughs> um, I am still not happy. Big screen. <laughs> Unless we've got Priscilla working on the big screen in Sydney. Um, Anita says you should use the camera on your phone so you can enlarge it, which is great. But sadly, her camera, her phone is currently doing um, the, her hands. So she can't do that, Anita, at the moment. So, <laughs> um, and and the, the program that we're using doesn't allow you to zoom in. No. So I can't I can't even zoom in. See, I'm, I'm having trouble blending from here into here. But anyway, don't don't keep looking at it. Don't keep looking at no, it. The more you look at it, the more you go. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. I don't have uh, the issue of worrying about blending because I'm making this up as I go along and it's just going to be a random colouring of feathers. So, yeah. you know, I'm just, whatever is my view. So, <laughs> well, I'm a little reckless like that. And then we'll get some pink. This will share all like this. We've got some melon mambo going on. Light melon mambo. Yeah. But this is never going to blend. You know, this is all going to be different colours, but that's OK. We'll see how we get it. We might blend a little bit in a minute. This is a bit light for my liking. I might go a bit darker. So let's just use it again here. Let's go. Oh. Ding dong! That's my UPS man, I think. <laughs> Ooh, better go awesome. Yeah. Thankfully, sure. Sean's gone. Sean's, Sean's gone to get home. it. Nice. Yeah. All right. I'm going to bring in some balmy blue. I think. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. So I, for his tail, I'm doing some light. Um, I'm just making it up now. I'm going to do yeah. some light mossy meadow, and then I'm going. I've put. Um, I'll bring it up. Sorry. I've got some mossy meadow right in the tip of the tail, and then I. Oh, oh, we lost your face for a minute. Hang on, where did you go? Oh no, we've lost your sound. Oh, hang on, we've moved everybody around. We can't hear you, Alyssa. I think you might have to come out and go back in again. Hold on. I can't hear you. I'm going to do this. I put a comment up. I can do that. <laughs> can't hear you anymore, honey. You might have to come out. And come back in again. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to leave and come back. That's what we had this happen um, earlier. So we know that this will work if she leaves and then comes back again. I'll just keep an eye and bring her back in when she's when she's ready. It's very odd technology. Don't you just love it? Sometimes we just love it. Kim is absolutely right, though. There is no way, no right or wrong way to use the blends. Uh, that's comfortable, that gives you brilliant results. Exactly. Here we go. She's coming back in. Okay. Yay. Now we Yay. can hear you again. I'm Yay. back. Oh, because all of a sudden, all it's like three of the cameras disappeared on me, and I was like, oh, I don't know what's going Oh, <laughs> yeah, so we lost I didn't you completely. know whether it was, I couldn't hear you, Pip, and I didn't know whether it was your end or my end, or, but anyway. Okay. So, whoops, I've frozen okay. down on my bottom. It's probably um, no. well, one of my boys has left. He's gone to play darts, but the other one's um, playing games and he's, he's probably pogging all the internet. Oh, so I've started off, with, started off with a little bit of Mossy Meadow Light 
used some night uh, is it night of navy on the tips and now i'm just gonna grab my dark uh, balmy blue and just blend the three colors together with that so That's nice, nice. <laughs> kim says tim tech gets her every time yeah i know <laughs> kim has had many struggles with tech over the years but uh -huh. you know we just soldier on don't we kim that's the thing because what else can we do we've got to keep going and um, eventually we get back eventually we get it back and it's all fine i like the idea of dots i'm going to do some dots oh, that's cool. i want to do some more i think i want to do more of this oh here's the wrong one don't have them don't put them beside me <laughs> <laughs> did you use the wrong one Alyssa? oh i used the wrong one i'm like why is that so much darker than the first one i put <laughs> Because it's the wrong one. I do oh. that so often. Anyway. Okay. I'm adding I'm just adding more purple now to this, and I'm not sure if I like it, but it's it's kind of going in as very dark. All right. Okay. No, not playing dark. with you anymore, Mr. Chook. There we go. All right. So I am going to die cut them. He's probably a little bit soggy. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever laid down that much colour. So I am going to die cut these guys. And I'm also okay. going to die cut um, one of my country corner uh, dies. I'm going to work out. I'm going to, I'm going to die cut these guys first and then I'm going to work out what size I need from that. Excellent. <laughs> Kim just said, she she said, both chicks look amazing, like they're getting dressed up for the prom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's uh, funny. I've, I've, I've been using, um, what have I been using? So I've been using all of my Highland Heather, Fresh Freesia, um, Malam Mambo Light, Malam Mambo, yeah, mainly Malam Mambo Light, to be fair. Um, and then Orchid Oasis and um, a little bit of bubble bath. I've just brought in a bit of bubble bath there. So we can lighten this lot up a little bit. Mine's definitely like a wild child with the colouring here. It has no sense of direction, etc. So this is... This is um, oh, cool. I can't get my light to be in the right place. There we go. So, yeah, so very pinky purple, a bit flustered. Feathers are all a bit up in the air, but that's okay because he's trying to keep in line all the other chooks that are dangling out the window. That's um, then for his beak, I'm going to go traditional and use some pumpkin. Um, I just feel like a beak needs to be pumpkin. Now, my bottom screen keeps freezing, so apologies. Not for us. Oh, you're no. not for it? Is that no, okay? so not it's freezing on, on my end. I can put you in. So I'm going Mom with must pumpkin, be issues. pumpkin pie feet. And then I forgot to bring my pool party. My pool party makes great eyelids. My eyes. Oh, no. Just remember. I'm going to do a little bit of pool party just above the eyes. And that brings the eyes to life a little bit. And then I think we'll do a an orchid oasis little bit underneath his, this little bit here underneath his chin. Do that. Okay, so now hopefully you can see. If I get my light in the right place, position. Really dark. I don't know why my light is so dark here. It well, is a bit dark, isn't it? Really dark. Because of where this is. is hey, look at this. There we go. That's a bit lighter. This die here. Don't worry. I'm I'm freezing. This die here. He looks like a like a critter with a witch's hat on it. Oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so when that's going to be stuck behind the um, no, this way round. See, we won't see all of him. We'll see quite a lot of him actually, more than I was expecting originally. I thought his feet might be hidden, but that's that's cool. So he's behind there, and then we'll do the rest of these girls. I think just in or boys. In 
and I can just about see where my line is, so I don't need to do all of it. So this one's going to have a pink hip haircut at the top. Coming down here. Nice, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. A light bubble bath. All right. I get you out. Oh my goodness! Don't you love it trying to get dyes off the uh, <laughs> for the first time off these sticky? Yeah. Oh. I love that. Use your muscles. Use your fingernails. That's probably why my fingernails are all busted. Probably. So Jean says she loves these stamps. It looks like they've overdone the gin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. Um, oh, thanks, ladies. Everyone says that they're liking my purple, pink and purple chook. So that's good. Thank uh, you. What's What's good. not to like about them? <laughs> All right. Okay. So now I'm going to work out what size uh, countryside corner I'm going to use. There goes on my stuff. What are you doing over there? Oh, I'm just <laughs> tossing stuff away. I had an early morning, 7.30, 7 in the morning um, meeting this morning, so oh. and I'm feeling I'm it. Tired. I'm a little bit tired. Yeah. That's okay. Well, if dropping things is the worst you can do, then, you know. Well, okay, well, I think well. I need that size there. Oh, don't they? Some of those, those um, countryside corner things, they're big. They are, and I've probably used these more than other stuff, than, you know, more than what I thought I was going to. Mm. I've just discovered the nested essentials. See, I am using these because I don't have those. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think those are bigger, but the nested essentials are far. So if anyone if anyone's interested in what the nested essentials look like, look at these. That's look that's the one with the banner in it, isn't it? Yeah, look at these. This is huge. If yes. you put this put this on a card front, uh, where's the front of my card? Look at that. Oh wow. It's massive. They are big. So they're, they're big and they've got these brilliant ones with like rounded corners. So I really like the rounded oh, corner one. I'm gonna put that banner. on my all right, I'm going to put that on my list. Your wish list. And I've also got to get those florist dyes oh. as well. One of yeah, some one of my team is just amazing at doing her flowers. She's just. Did she's you get them? Did you get the dye? The I haven't yet, but she's definitely persuaded me to that I need to. I, I <laughs> maybe we, maybe we need to get that and play with that. Play with that. Oh man, the the stuff that's coming out of my group, I have to say, they're amazing. So I'm not sure I could compete, but we, we could try. We can try. <laughs> okay, so now there is a a different way of using, and this is probably why I was attracted to the card, is that they've used the blends in a really different way on this card. And so that is what I am going to try and do. So rather than colour, they have just drawn lines. And oh, I thought, okay. how cool is that to do it that way? So that is what I am going to attempt to do now. I'm just going to work out where my grass is going to start and my sky is going to start. Mm. And then I'm just going to probably just use a pencil to give me a little bit of a line. Yeah, that's always a good idea, isn't it? To just do it. So do it. Something visual. Yeah. So if I start it from about there that should be oh here i'm trashing my trashing my son bending all these little spooky things back right so if i just do it roughly around there and then i think all that they've done is taken their i think they use balmy blue i'll start off with my light because you can always go darker and then mm -hmm. i'm going to use the bullet uh, the um brush tip which is what i rarely rarely use and i'm going to use the edge of it and i'm just going to draw stripes 
to get that texture. Oh, cool. And hopefully they stay as stripes and not blend into each other. That's cool. For once you don't want it to blend. We don't want it to blend, no. We want those um, stripes going on it. So perhaps not that stripey, but uh, I'll bring it up to the screen in a second. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. So you'll be able to see that that's actually quite a stripy look to it. Mm. And then with the grass, I'm using Mossy Meadow and I'll start with my light and I'll do the same thing. And then they've looks like they've gone over it again with some dark, but only a portion of the way. So I'll just make sure that I'm still where I want to be. Yep. And then... Oh, I've just had a block. You've just oh, had a. I just had a, a block. block. Uh, yeah, alcohol. I uh, hate it when that happens sometimes. Um, we need to leave really, that dry. You must have really juicy blends. Yeah, obviously, and I'll come back to that one. So that's fine. Because you can fix it with the. Don't panic if it happens. It's fixable. All things are fixable. Okay, so you can see the stripes going on there, and then with this one, you just sort of oh. So you're putting darker on, and now I'm putting darker, and I'm just sort of flicking, flicking that one, so that it has uh, like jaggedy edges. Well, I'm, I'm assuming you can see that. It's for other oh, yeah. It's from yeah, so that's cool. When we pop these on, you get that. Oh, slight yeah. That's cool, Look, isn't it? That's great. I, yeah. I just thought I just was looking at it and I thought, hey, what have they done there? I mean, theirs yeah. is a little bit nicer than mine, obviously, but um, yeah, no. we don't do that. Over the top. <laughs> we don't. We don't do that. We're not allowed to. Compare. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do we don't comparison. Do Oops. So I've I've kind of finished doing my chicken, except that I got this. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that, but it was a, like a blend. It was a drop of alcohol clear alcohol that went in here and it's just sort of blurred everything in a circle so if you just let that dry for a bit we can go in and we can fix it because that's the beauty of alcohol pens that it's always fixable uh, but the rest of her I'm kind of happy with I'm going to go with a light pumpkin pie for her legs and I just did what I told everybody not to do I didn't check my ends before I started colouring to see if they were leaking because sometimes they do leak um, they just get a build up of so I think it's pressure or something. I don't know what it is, but they do do that occasionally. Okay, so she's kind of looking pretty good. When we put this over the top, once we fix her tail feathers, she's going to be looking out like that. Cool. So peering out from behind there with this one mm. over here. Uh, Cheryl, okay, we've got comments. Um, oh, so nice comments. Look. Kayla says, I love you guys doing these joint lives. So awesome. That's oh, so cool. nice. Thanks, Kayla. Uh, and then Audrey's asking, which dyes are you talking about, Cheryl? Um, okay, so she's talking about the florist dyes. So let's have a look at those. Um, oh, the florist dyes. Oh, on so, the back of your catalogue is the most gorgeous yes. photo. Yeah. I think, I think they should have put that on the front of the catalogue. I too. think they should have done too. This is all made up of dyes. Some of them, these are Cheerful Daisies and Intermingled are these other ones. And they are on page because they're not um, they're not part of a bundle. They're just sitting on their own, aren't they? That's the thing. So some yes, they're instead of mine. Yeah, that are just sitting on their own. Where are they? Are they not called uh, florist dyes? Uh, uh, paper, paper florist, I think they're called. P they might be in the news section. P here, paper florist. They don't look very much when you look at them in the catalogue, but if you look on page 165, um, you can see all of these different size dies here. 
Yeah, I think it's one of those diet, like one of those things that you could just completely miss in the catalogue yeah. and uh, and completely overlook it. So yeah. I've got mine. I've got mine on a white base, but I'm actually wondering um, Ooh, whether so to, whether to put it on a crumb cake, maybe. Yeah. What do you guys think? Exactly. You guys, you guys are more than welcome to jump in and go. Hey, I don't think you should do that. I think you should do this. <laughs> <laughs> more than welcome. And in the in the catalogue, they've also uh, in the sample that I'm following, they've also added because um, I've I've crammed down a, a long card and I'm making it into a smaller one. So I'm only taking uh, okay. a portion of what they've done and turning it into. A smaller card. They've actually got this on there as well. That might fill up. That would fit. Let that me. Would I'll, I'll die cut it, and we can always not use it. Yes. Square. Hoping that it will fit. No, it will fit on that. Oh, get you out of there. There we go. This one's going to be more purple, I think. More, a bit more orchid oasis going on this one. I'll just check the comments and see. I can see from my end. Uh, okay. Um, so yes. Yeah, so let me know whether you think I should get a piece of. Um, I should. I do like it on the white. It is pretty clean and crisp, isn't it? But um, I will grab a little piece of. Um, they've used. They've used grey granite in the catalogue, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, which I I haven't used any grey granite in the thing, so I will do a a, a bright weather vane. Oh, I was going to colour it with um because I was just I'm just, I'm just copying what's in the catalogue. I was just going to colour it in the silver. Um, here, let me colour that in, and I'll see what I wonder what colour I could do it. Well, I can colour it whatever colour I want, can't I? Because it's white. Right. <laughs> right. Any colour you like, honey. That. So. Um, and I think that's part of the beauty I love about blends is you can just go wild with them, and you can, or you can just be like true to nature if you want to. You can you know, follow nature and find um, things that that look like that in the wild and then do that or you can just go completely off piece like i am and do whatever the heck you like so i think it's um i think that's one of the, the beauties of using blends yeah and i i think actually i'm thinking that a um a bright weather vane actually anita i reckon i, I might do a blue one because mm. I do think that the, if I stick with the white, I reckon that it will get lost. So um, I, I know, I know. In my <laughs> somebody commented on my last live. She said, "Every time your plate went through the machine, she said I thought it was going to crack." <laughs> um, yeah, because it's got a big chunk out of it. It's gonna be, it's what, a what, what are you doing to them? I'm just using it. It's my original one. And hubby was in here the other day uh, and he's like, did you want me to buy you a new one? And I'm like, no, because yes. I, have, I have a new set. <laughs> I lost them for a bit, as everyone knows. I lost them for a bit, but then I found them again. Um, so, but, yeah. I, they'll just keep going. They'll keep going. Until they don't, and then I'll swap them out. Yeah. As long as you've got a spare, what I say is always carry a spare set of, um, you know, a spare set of uh, plates. Definitely. Because, because the day that you really need it is the day that it's going to really go. For sure. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing. Yep. Oh, um, yeah. So as long as you've got a spare set somewhere, then you can keep it going as long as you want. Okay, now right. that's going to be outside of a hole. I'm going to try and do a, a variegated one. So I'm coming on now to fix this uh, alcohol spot that, that kind of came out here. Um, now it's dry, you just colour over the top of it. And eventually it starts to blend in. So you end up just blending it as you would normally. And although there's a tiny, tiny little bit of a smudge up here, thankfully, it's just outside 
where my card circle is going to go. So it's going to be fine. And if any colour had leaked out, you can use the colour lifter to push it back in. So there's always that. All right, let's add a little bit of, whoops. They're always a little bit darker than what you think they're going to be. And I'm mm. using the light too. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. You guys can't see what I'm doing just as well. <laughs> She's not sure. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think I've managed to rescue my um, rescue my tail feathers. It's always a good thing to rescue your tail feathers. I feel. Definitely. So yeah. I mean, how are you going to shake them if you haven't got any tail feathers? So I'm just going back over with the light pool party all over the eyelids, just to darken them up a little bit. Okay, so now when I put my circles on, we should have three coloured feathered friends looking Oops. particularly cool looking through the windows. So now I'm going to run um, out those circles. Maybe I should have done red. No, but I think it's okay. I think it's, it's I think it looks nice. It kind of brings in the blue sky to the mm. white. Maybe I need it to be a little bit darker. Maybe I need to do, 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 do more dark. Yeah, more dark maybe. To separate it a little bit. Just so that it can stand out a bit more maybe. See, this is the good thing, and you know, if you cut it out of the colour and, and you'd be die cutting, at least I can change. I can change my colour up. Mm. I'm going down the side there too. So now I'm going to stick my. Are you up to assembly already? I'm, I'm kind of up to assembly already, but I haven't done any sentiments or anything yet, so don't panic. I'm always slow. I'm always You're nearly slow. at the end anyway. You've done all your uh, bits. Well, that's true. So I'm just using my multi-purpose glue and I'm making sure I go round the circles so that there's glue because you don't want flappy circles in the middle of your card because you can guarantee something's going to get stuck behind it or slide behind it or whatever. So we don't want to do that. Okay. Now we're going to pop that down. Positioning those circles perfectly with your chickens or your chooks. There we go. Now that's attached. So that's now a solid piece. You can see how much you see how much I've used underneath on the back. <laughs> so there we go. I and was then, watching do a live the other day, and oh yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, how many dimensionals are you using? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, see, now we could use a foam sheet on this, but I think I'm going to put it flat, to be honest, because it's it's too big to lift the whole thing up. I know some people do, but I'm going to add some more dimension on the top of it as well. So just because this bit's finished, don't, um, uh, don't think that I'm going to be finished completely because I'm not, because we've got some things that I want to put on the front here. So we'll put that on, I'm just going to make sure that is the front card. Oh, hang on, we've got a picture. We've got a comment here from Elaine that I don't really understand. So Elaine, I'm going to have to read that out. Keep the die cut in the card from which you cut it from, and it will make it easier to colour and less on the fingers. Oh, cool. Oh, is that for... That's for is you, that, I think. For me, keep yeah. so so. In other words, pop it back. Pop in it here back in there, and color in that way. Yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah. idea. That's a good idea. We like that. Elaine's got lots of good ideas. Very good idea. Okay. Cool. All right. So now, mm -hmm. I was and kind of wondering. I need a sentiment. What am I going to do for my sentiment? I'm thinking that I should do that on coloured card. Yeah. 
I was kind of thinking I was going to hope that I could have my chicken running out from here, the screaming one, because he's got his escape. <laughs> I'm just not sure if that's going to work. We'll see. We'll stamp him and see. Stamp him, cut him out and see, shall we? That's the way right. to do it. I'm ducking off to look in my filing cabinet for um, what colour Some colour stuff. Meanwhile, I want, I want the escapee chicken. If I can't get him on the front, I will stick him on the inside, on the inner, as if he's escaped from the hen house and he's doing a runner. Do you know what I mean? That's what we're going to do. But this guy, he's going to be a bit different. We're going to get, bring in some Tahitian Tide, I think, just to make him a little bit more standy out from the crowd, which is obviously a word. We'll just give him some. Dark bits on the ends of his feathers. I always like to add a bit of darkening. There we go. In fact, I might even add a little, few little spots of orchid oasis just at the tips. Kind of bring in, bring in a little bit in line with the others, but slightly different. What are you doing, woman? Oh, I don't know. I've got blues out. So feel free to comment. <laughs> feel free to comment. Um, and I'm also thinking I was going to get out, um, I was going to get some mossy meadow out uh -huh. to have a crack as well. Let's yeah. see. And anyone got any input? Um, oh, I think you was me. I've got a handsome boy. <laughs> um, yeah. Anita says mine looks, he can be the road runner. I like that. Because um, I'm thinking white embossing on. Uh, yeah. I, and I to make sure that I've got a thin. Uh, a thin word. Well. But I'm think I'm thinking the blue to tie it in with the blue um, weather vane. So oh, I'm off the ground. Yeah. <sighs> Things we do. I know. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm adding a bit more um, purple to the to the proceedings. This guy's really flamboyant. I like him. Am I going to need some more white embossing powder soon? Okay, going through it. <laughs> That's the one I go through the most. Oh, I know. All right. Okay. Sentiment. What are you going to use, Pip? uh i don't know actually i was kind of thinking um rise and shine for mine because he's <laughs> that's what i've just grabbed as well oh, is it? <laughs> i was well, there well i've got the sun coming up and he doesn't look okay like well if you do that one i can do you rule the oh, roost no, no, no. we can do the same well i know i'm just thinking that maybe this you rule the roost might be good for this one or you've got something to crow about which oh yeah especially because they're peeping um yeah through the thing whereas mine looks like he's not real happy to be up in the morning so. <laughs> and it's a small sentiment <laughs> yeah okay so i've got my embossing buddy here i will give him a little wipe just to eliminate any oils on my fingers from the day no i'm thinking he needs a pink tongue I was thinking darker than that. Darker than that. Rise and shine. And I loved the font in this as well. Mm. Yeah, quirky. Which goes with the um goes with the chickens, doesn't it? Goes with the chooks. Okay. So let's chop out my roadrunner. No, nope, wrong set. All right, here we go. Uh, now it's a question of trying to find which one looks like that. I think it's this funny thing here. Uh, okay. Yep, there we go. So we'll pop him on. If I can work out how to cut him out. There we go. So we'll cut him out, and I might do this. I might stamp the words at the same time. Maybe. 
looks quite like. It's very weird looking from a, like from the side because I can't get above because of my camera, but we'll we'll say that that's right. And then I might just do um, I kind of like I, the arrow. I'm I just going to mute myself while I, I hit the boss. Okay. So I'm just going to whiz these through the um, machine. Well, Alyssa does that. What do you think of this bundle so far, everyone? Do we like it? Is it a is it a is it a thumbs up for the chooks or a thumbs down for the chooks? What do you think? I think they're so cute. And you could die cut them all out or you could stamp them. You could um, colour them, you could watercolour them. You know, you don't have to do um, you don't have to do it in blends if you didn't want to. So I'm thinking. I like that sign, but I might chop it down a little bit. Depends on where I'm going to put the sentiment, really. So I'm thinking we've got him running around outside like so. I reckon he'll fit there. That looks all right. What do we think? Lovely. I think that looks okay. And then I'm thinking I might put the... He looks yeah. a bit like Roadrunner. Yeah, that's, that's just what Anita said. Oh, was um, it? Yeah. Oh, we've got loads of thumbs up. I said, who likes the set? Who likes the three? We've got lots of thumbs up for the bundle. So that's good. Um, now, I'm thinking of sentiment and I'm thinking. Right. Might be a good one. Oh, that's something about some bling. Oh, bling. Yeah, there's always time for bling. What's it going to do with my bling? Suggestions are welcome. Hey, I wonder if I can put some um, linkers link still the, on there. I haven't put the label on this one yet, so hold on. just got to get the label sorted on this. Uh, for some reason, I find doing these upside down helps. I have no idea why. You know, I never stick my stickers on the back. <gasps> now that they've got stickers, I cannot do without them. I love, love, love them. It's just, I don't know, I used to work so much without the stickers on the back, but now... Mm -mm. I, I've i got one. It's a happy birthday stamp, and I did have the stickers on the back of it, but it is my absolute go-to happy birthday, and I've used mm. it that much that my sticker isn't sticky anymore, and it won't stick to my box. <laughs> Um, okay. Okay. Put them back on. Just get okay. the clear. Just get the clear stickers and put them back on. In the catalog. Clear stickers. What's, yeah. What's the, am so I missing you something? To, you're missing something. If you go to oh, the die section, is the die section? No, not that one. It's the stamp section. Uh, I am missing something. Where did they go? Where did they go? Not the adhesive. No, it wouldn't be. Not the adhesive sheets. No, there's um. Well, they used to be. Maybe they've taken it out. Oh no. Adhesive sheets. Adhesive. Cling adhesive. Here we go. Cling so adhesive. if you go to page one three eight, cling adhesive easily convert your clear mount stamps to cling. Basically, they're strips of double sided sticky. Um, but they work perfectly mm. on the back. So anything that doesn't stick, so, you know, occasionally, very occasionally, I get a photopolymer that doesn't stick. And I use the clear, you put them down and one side's really sticky, that goes on the stamp. And then the yeah. other side is the side that goes onto your blocks. Well, there you go. You learn yeah. something new Brilliant. all the time. <laughs> I will have to put that on the list with my florist. With my paper florist stuff. Uh, oh, cash and crates. I didn't even think about that. Okay, cash and crates. I do. I didn't have blacks. I could have done black as well. Um, uh, 
<laughs> sticker on the back and put it on the stamp. Yeah, exactly. It works all the time. Exactly, Anita. Oh. It's great. It's brilliant. Perfect. Um, I'll have to uh, invest in some of that. Okay, I think I'm ready to assemble. Nice. And Susie Snow is here from Maryland as well. Hello. Good morning. Hello. They're just about waking up, I guess. <laughs> Must yeah. be early in Maryland. Okay, I need some of this. I should I should have another go with Tombow and see how, whether we are friends. You don't like Tombow? We don't get along very well. Oh, wow. but I, do you, would you like to be my friend? <laughs> just really gently. Mm -hmm. If it's not coming out, just tap it on the table. Oh, just be nice with me. Just be nice. Yeah, very, very gently. We used yeah. to be friends and... And then it went off. And then we stopped being friends. I'm going to... Okay, so I'm gonna put my I put my fences down first. Oh, see now if I if I hadn't been if I'd been friends with Tombo for the first fence, I could have slid it along, but she's stuck there now. <laughs> anyway, so which you might think is a bit silly, but I've only put the, the adhesive behind the um, um, horizontal ones, and that way I can slip my. Um, I was going to call it a moon, but it's not a moon. It's a it's sun. sun. So I yeah. flip my sun behind um, there a little bit. That is clever. So you just bend it back ever so slightly. And so I'm using masses of dimensionals to stick my label on, but I don't like soggy middles. When it goes through the post service, you do not want that middle bit to be squished by the postal service. And then the card arrives ruined to your lovely person that you're sending it to. And I'm just going to trim the bottom of this off. No one's going to know. And there we go. And that's going to go, it needs to go a little bit more like that. Okay, so that's going to stick on one of the sides there. Perfect. Bit of Tombow on the back of that. So this is the arrow. Weather vane, I think it's a weather vane, isn't it? Uh, I've yes. just cut it out of white. I could have made it a different colour, but I thought since we've got so much pink and purple going on, a bit you of white. You got plenty of colour? Yeah, a bit of white might be good. I'm position that. First, we'll get it popping out from there, like so. And then this little guy, we need dimensionals, minis, because he's little. I might need to chop a few up. I, just want to chop I mean, I bit. use a few dimensionals, but I'm sure that I don't use as many as you. Sure, no. you're. A, I reckon you use more than me. I think I'm a bit OCD with dimensionals. One, two, honest. three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay on the back of that. Yeah, that would be about right. And then and I'm, I'm going to use um, an old strip that's been finished so I can get off these little pieces that I need for his feet. A little tiny one along there for his foot. I don't like to leave his foot dangling on the edge of a card. Oops. Put a bit dimensional there. Oh, I can't because I can't because these darn fingernails. I have <laughs> to I cut them. I'm trying to keep them really short while the splintering, like the peeling, yeah. is out. And of course, I cut them just before I came on. And of course, now I can't pick anything out. <laughs> can't can't get the dimensionals off there. Oh, take your pick tool. Oh yeah, brother. Where are you? Just use the pokey end. Pokey end is perfect. I love my take your pick tool. Okay, now I've smothered him in dimensionals. He's got enough to keep him safe. I mean, it's not for sticking, so don't think that you need this many to stick him down. That's not the case at all. I just use this many to stop him bending in the post service. That's all, and getting squished. So if I was giving it 
to somebody by hand, I probably wouldn't bother. I'd probably just put on a couple. But since I don't know what I'm doing with this one. Um, and I am going to need to double because I've used dimensionals on my countryside corners die and dimensionals on my rooster. I'm going to need to oh, double layer. Double layer, double whammy. Double layer them to get that height. And then I can just use adhesive for the other end. I need to have a insert. So we're going to do an insert. Oh, who watched? All right, Aussies. Okay, so especially if you're in South Australia, we had our news does a flashback. I don't know. You might have had this show in in the UK. It was on when I was little, and it was called Romper Room. <laughs> Anyway, they did a flashback about Romper Room and there's a song on there which starts off Bend and Stretch, Reach for the Stars. Anyway, mm -hmm. Rise and Shine makes me want to sing the Romper Room song. Yeah. Now I'm getting really close. Um, <laughs> okay. I need some. So hand up if you remember <laughs> Romper Room. <laughs> Nothing wrong with childhood memories at all. And I was because I was doing when they were doing the news article, I was singing all the songs and and Craig, who's a little bit older than me, he's like, What are you singing? How come you know all the words to the songs? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh dear. Now the question is, do I do one on the inside? Um I need to I need bling, okay? So I hold hold my card up. So I need some form of bling. Mm. I think they use sequins in the um, in the catalogue, but I don't know that I have those loose sequins. So, um, oh, there we go. See, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. <laughs> oh, where should? Oh, hang on. Who, you oh, had Miss Betty. Who, who was? Who was? Um, oh, come, yes, Mr. Doobie. Yes, yes. <laughs> All your friends are here. They all know that. We're going to play a game with you. Anyway, I will stop singing because I cannot sing. Um, yeah, but plus if you all, every, <laughs> every time I sing, I get a copyright alert going off. So. Oh, yeah. Better not, <laughs> better not do that. What are these ones? Mm. Iridescent pastel gems. Do we still have them? They might be a little bit big. I'm thinking that that colour there, the... Mm -hmm. Peachy colour one might work in well with Yeah, that might be nice. What else have I? I've got so many in there. I know. It's like you've got all of that. What about the neutral ones? Have you got any neutrals? I've got... Uh, like the neutral sequins. Have, have you got the neutral Enamel sequins? dot essentials. Are they black or are they navy? Enamel dot. They're, they're retired, but they're nice. Oh, I, don't I, don't, I use retired gems all the time. Oh. These ones would be perfect for your card, the opaque adhesive backed gems, because there's yes. gorgeous grape and um I've got some of them. Smell and mumbo, but the that one that one would be pretty for yours. Okay, here's who's got some suggestions. Let me kick back. Yes, the magic mirror. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try. I might try. Oh, actually, maybe the white, white ones. Mm, no, no. I'll put, I'll put some of this on. Um, there'll be some smaller ones. I won't use the big ones. Oh, hair everywhere. Maybe I use a couple of those. Mm, what do you think? I'll bring it up to the screen. Yeah. A couple of those, those oh, smaller yeah, ones. Nice. Oh, I think they're still current. Oh, actually, the blue ones in there would probably be okay. Yeah, the blue ones would be nice. I think they're blue. I don't know. I think they're actually soft succulent. Oh, are they? Oh, okay. Who yeah, knows? They're, sparkly. they're sparkly and that's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've put some Wink Stella on my sun, so that's got a little bit of uh, sparkle to it. Oh, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. I'll use these ones because they're a little bit. Now, yeah, and you have to be careful when you're doing animals on cards and you're putting bling you have to be mindful of where you're actually putting the bling because if he's got a bottom you don't yeah. want to put bling under, you know, the bottom. under his bottom because it might look like he's pooping bling yeah no that's definitely yeah. not 
not a good idea. We don't we don't want to do that. So I'm going to put it up a little bit higher. And oh, actually, I've got it so full. I'm actually struggling to find where I am going to put my bling. That I think is my problem. I'm not sure where I'm going to put bling on the front. I, will, I, I think I will try and put some bling on the front. It's just a question yeah. of where. It's tricky because they're so, those, they're, you know, they've got so much going on on them already. Mm -hmm. anyway, that's okay. It's just, bling is just really to, I mean, especially if, when it's a busy card anyway, I think it's sort of like to, when you've got it on your mantelpiece and you walk by and it catches your eye and you go, oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm finished. Huh? I finished. You finished. Oh, now she's showing off now. I'm showing off now. <laughs> you got you got loads and loads of coloring though. I'm, Are you I'm doing. doing is, that, is that an insert? This is an insert. Yeah. See, here's my insert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yours is a tap. See, so that's. That's an excuse. Mine isn't. I have to put one in because it's gorgeous. Great, don't I? So it has to be. I could always, I could always do something. No, but I'm not going to. <laughs> no, I'll be done in a sec. There we go. My rooster sort of settled down a little bit as well. Like I think you have to just wait for sometimes, sometimes to just let the colour relax into the yeah. cast as well because yeah. it changes. I agree. I'm going to leave this one with white pants, but he's going to have pink dots. Cool. I should. I guess you've all picked which card that I have cased from the catalogue, but I will show you. Uh, 49, I think it was. Page 49 is the uh, bundle if you are looking for it. Yes, good plan. And, and this one here is the one that I have been inspired by so it's not a direct case but you know yeah it's nice it, it's, i like that little, it was a little bit it was a little I, thing i, I really i really liked the the banners behind and uh, and the way that they had colored so i thought yeah. well, we'll try that because yeah. i you know i would in, in blend i've used my blending brushes for all of that and i just looked at it and i thought oh that's really cool sort of gives yeah. it a little bit of texture and you know, it didn't take very long either. So, um, yeah, I like that. The texture, as you say, it's different, isn't it? It's, it doesn't look mm. the same as a blended look. Um, no, it's, but it's no. still got a little bit of softness from the alcohol markers, so it's not sharp. Okay, there we go. So, this is my insert. Oh, oh now what's happened? Oh, my oh, face just died. Look at all your cool colors. It's, my phone has just died and gone the wrong way around, and I don't know what's the matter oh. with it. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, now it's, oh. it's gone. Let's just hold take that up. away. <laughs> I'm going to hold it up this way. Why don't we go? Why don't we go side to side and take this one off? If I take that one off, can we still hear Alyssa? Yes, okay, I can good. still see her. So that's my one. I haven't done any gems. And then inside, there's my little road runner. There we go. We need cool. to do our. Oh, we do. We do. <laughs> Hang on, let me get my lights. Oh, what's happened there? I'm where I'm. I'm having everything freeze on me today, so it's just going weird, isn't it? I'll do a funny Hang smile. On. Hang on, folks. We've got to just take a picture. <laughs> Look at the camera. Smile. Smile. Excellent. Done. Good. Yep, got that one. Nice. Just, Done. That, that's just for our benefit to put up a <laughs> YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> we'll stick it up on YouTube. So yeah, but um, I think that's I think that's come out pretty well. I love your one. Let's have a look at your one again. Oh, we see go. now we can see it really close. That's great. Oops, there we go. Mm. Yeah, cool. that texture behind is bad. And I have very, very blue. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's cool. He's cool, like Roadrunner. And I do like them peeking in, peeking out of the little circles. This one, I could have moved him down a smidge so there's a bit more white space behind, but he's okay. He's come out right. And, you know, that embossing folder. Yeah. Love it. Very, very nice. Very, very good. 
Oh yeah. dear. So that was another. I mean, I can't believe it. We've been going for an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. Whoops. I and you're keep freezing up on me, and I'm sure it's just me. I'm I don't think it's yeah, you. No. It's, it's definitely I, I me. Okay. Everyone says very nice ladies, beautiful, beautiful cards. Um, great cards. What was the die? Oh, what the big die from the outside, Julie? That was the uh countryside on um oh. oh, we've lost Alyssa. Where have you gone? Oh, now what's happening? Hold on. No, we've lost you again. You've got no sound. You've blipped again. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna do a little message. No sound again. She's going to leave. She's going to come back in. <laughs> uh, OK, so, Julie, what was the doubt? What was the die? Um, if you're talking about my circles, these are just from the stylish shapes. And these dies are from the Hey Chook bu uh, bundle. But if you're talking about the the one that went behind Julie, um, Alyssa's whole design, uh, that's Countryside Inn. So Countryside Inn has um it's a bundle uh, and you can get a set of stamps that goes with it if you look on page countryside corners is what it's called here these ones okay so they're like they're like big labels they do have stamps that match um but yeah page 63 for the whole uh, bundle or page 156 if you just want the dies oh here comes Alyssa you're back. <sighs> uh, I don't know. You're very grainy, though. So I think somebody's definitely playing. <laughs> yes, playing. I think so. And the other one's home now, so he's probably playing as well. well. He's probably playing too. Yeah. So I've just been telling Julie what the set was that you used, Countryside Corners. Fantastic. So that's cool. So, um, so yeah. So this is the Hay Chook bundle. So if you want the Hay Chook bundle, you can grab that from us today. Uh, if you're in Australia, Alyssa. And if you're in the UK or anywhere else in the European cut markets, you can get it from me. Um, if you're in the States, you'll have to find your own demo. But we have friends. So, <laughs> we, have friends. <laughs> um, we have friends. So let us know and we can we can recommend. Um, there's a couple that I um, know have bad customer service. So I like to recommend them. And I'm sure yep. Alyssa has the same. Yep, so exactly. we'd love to see you again. We're going to do this again, aren't we? Oh, for sure. Definitely. I think I think it's been fun. Oh, as long as you guys want it. <laughs> yes, yeah, you want us to do this more, then we will do this more. I've had a blast, yeah. so I want to do it again. So. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might have to get those paper florist ones and and uh, have a little play with them as well. I think we might do. Please again, says Kay. Yes. So uh, I think there's I think there's people who want to who want us to do it again. So that would be cool. Excellent. So I think, um, yeah. Yeah, yep. Deb says do it again. Yeah, it's all coming in, do it again. So that's good. So Fantastic. I think we'll be back again next month. Um, we need to work out a date between us. So we'll do that. We and then we will let you know. Oh, Kayla's just lovely. So um, Kayla says, you are you guys are a delight to watch. Oh, thanks, Kayla. Thank you. <laughs> we muddle along, Kayla. That's we what we muddle do. along. We, we produce something by the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> But we never I know what it's going to be. I, I wonder how, because I, and I guess it would be the same for Pip, you get some immersed in making your own card and I'll, I will look up and watch what Pip is doing too. But I guess yeah. for you guys, um, watching two crafters at the same time must be yeah. a different experience as well. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that really because we don't normally do that. We don't normally see that. Normally, it's just one of us doing something um, and having just one thing to focus on. So, yeah, let us know if there's any way. We can't make our screens any bigger, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. We have tried. Um, so the, we can't make the screens bigger. But you can zoom in if you're watching it on a phone, can't you? You can pin, If you're on YouTube, you can pinch the screen to make it bigger. So then you, could, yep. you can see us a little bit bigger that yeah. way. Um, or you can get techie and plug it into your TV. <laughs> I love that. On your TV. Oh, well. 
<laughs> kind of like it not quite sure but kind of like it um so yeah so we will see you again next time there's lots of people saying yes we need to do it fantastic. again so fantastic and yes. thank you all for your time because we know we know that's an hour out of your time so we appreciate you spending yeah. your time with us um on a wednesday night as well or wednesday night for me <laughs> yeah wednesday, night, wednesday morning wednesday lunchtime now we're all off to have some lunch we're all got rumbly bellies <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's been fun again thanks Alyssa it's been lovely it's been a blast I've enjoyed it so we um, will work out another time and we will see you next month so yeah and you all your links to... are on your YouTube and your Facebook and all my links are on mine so you can grab yep. anything you want from yep. us yeah yep yes. perfect all righty okay we see will you guys. see you again. bye, bye.